In my 20-year career, I have rarely seen these dramatic responses from conventional treatments. When people get well, they get well across the board, not only in the symptoms that we treated, but also in other areas, like improved sleep, stabilization of mood, reduction in anxiety, and the reduction in need for cigarettes, cannabis, and alcohol. My research and those around the world have shown that 60 to 80% of people respond to micronutrients, showing just how powerful this intervention is. I wonder if I know what some of you are thinking. I wonder if some of you are thinking, hold on, why don't I just eat better? Why don't I just tell everyone to eat better? And indeed, there are some fantastic studies that document the strong relationship between dietary patterns and mental health, although this is a, we're still in very early days of scientific investigation. We don't know who would benefit from dietary manipulation alone and who may need the additional boost from extra nutrients. In the 19th century, physicians were offended when Semmelweis suggested they wash their hands before delivering babies. We are now asking them to consider whether the medications that they prescribe are contributing to the poor long-term outcome for some people with mental illness. But eating well and when appropriate, additional nutrients can improve the mental health of many people. I leave you with one last thought. Randomized trials in the 1600s showed that putting limes aboard ships headed out for long voyages completely eliminated the 40% mortality from scurvy. But it took 264 years for the British government to mandate that all ships must carry citrus for their sailors. How long will it take our society to pay attention to the research showing that suboptimal nutrition is contributing to the epidemic of mental illness. So this is my idea we're spreading. Nutrition matters. And if we're really ready to get serious about mental health, we need to get serious about the critical role played by nutrition. Thank you.